So I'm here with Stuart from um, Lego. Yep. And you have, as, is it like two years or one and a half years you've done the Wido? Uh, this is its second, second year. year. So this time last year was launch. Yeah. So walk me through, what, what is the Wido platform? So the Wido platform is, um, is designed to deliver the requirements of, uh, of computing, yeah. primarily coding, yeah. uh, but through a hands-on learning approach. So the idea of, of, of bringing things to life. Yeah. And of course, once we do that through robotics, that opens up a huge amount of other curriculum areas. So we primarily in this case, we're looking at science. So the activities that we have built into our software for we do are science-based activities. So, so what, what kind of activities would that be? Well, if we try to have a, yeah, have, a, absolutely. have a little quick look here. So if we look at here, We've got we've got some getting started activities yeah, where yeah. we can build Milo. Is, yeah. This is our little uh, that's a our little sort of Milo introductory robot. Kind introductory of thing. robot, yeah. absolutely. And, and we build him up. We add a range of sensors, and then we even go to collaboration where two teams have to work together in order to uh, achieve different tasks. So you uh, build it with basic normal Lego blocks. Normal Lego blocks, and it's. A sort of easier version of the of Mindstorm. Mindstorm. Absolutely. Yeah. The idea is that we can start with this in primary yeah. and it's a very smooth progression route onto Mindstorms at the top yeah. of primary and into secondary. Absolutely. So when you program this, it's drag and drop block drag programming. Drag and drop block programming. Yeah. Exactly the same as Mindstorms. Yeah. And when, we, when we have a look at it, you'll see it's uh, all the, uh, yeah, the, the coloured blocks are the same colour as the Mindstorms blocks, yeah. the symbols are the same symbols as the Mindstorms blocks, so we've got a really neat progression. So at what age would you start working? <laughs> Whoops, there was an explosion in the background. Absolutely, yeah. What? <laughs> At what age would you start working with the with the Wido Well, platform? to be honest, I'd start from from kind of year one, kind of yeah. grade one in primary. Yeah. The um, the activities and the curriculum materials are aligned to um, to the key stage two curriculum, yeah. so seven to eleven year olds. Yeah. However. It's just Lego and yeah. it's very easy programming. So we can build anything we like from very young age and start to, and start to introduce the idea of programming up to there. So, so. In, a, in a classroom context, how, how would, uh, would it go about, how much Lego would you sort of need in order to... Uh, well, I mean, the kit comes in a box, yay yeah. big. There's about 280 pieces in yeah. that box. And um, we would work in pairs or we'd work yeah. in threes. It's great for collaborative learning. Yeah. A lot of Lego education solutions are based around yeah. collaboration. There's of groups of kids working together in the totally. same kit. Yeah. In the same kit, absolutely. And you know, it, it, it really is great for that because, particularly with uh, with we do here, we're not only looking at science and, and, uh, and coding. We're looking at how they communicate. Yeah. We're looking at how they can talk about their work and how they can even when they finish a project, how they can present that work to yeah. the rest of the class. So you know, we really do cover a whole range yeah. of curriculum. Um, on, on, concepts. What, on what software environments would you work with the WeDo platform? Is it iPad, Android? Completely cross uh, cross platform. So yeah, so we've got iPad and Android and Chrome and also Windows and Mac. So yeah. completely cross-platform. And actually now...